for this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Rico Baby Classic DK. I shall leave the colours and the links in the description bar below. You will need a corresponding crochet hook. You'll also change your crochet hook depending on the size of the booty that you want to do. So if you want one for a larger baby then you would go up a hook size. Now this is going to depend on what yarn you use so I shall leave some measurements for the different size of booties in the description box below. So you may also want to have a tape measure or a ruler just to measure the size of your booty. You will also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. So here are the crochet booties in two different styles. They are actually the same pattern, but this one I have used two different colours and also added a bit of something extra to the front here. But of course, if you just wanted to do a very simple booty, you could just do this one here. I also just wanted to take a moment to talk about the um, hook size. As I mentioned briefly in what you will need, this one was done with a three and a half millimeter crochet hook and this one was done with a four and a half millimeter crochet hook and you can see that there is um, a difference in those this one just turns out um, a little bit bigger but what you want to do is essentially measure the base of the booty so I'll show you in the tutorial where to actually measure for that and um, you can adapt that for the particular size of baby that you're wanting and also depending on what yarn you're using as well. So there is a half a centimetre difference from one of these to the other. So I'll show you this one today just so that you can see the change in colour but obviously if you want to use just one colour then just continue to do what I'm doing, just don't change colours. I would also absolutely love to see how you um, add different embellishments to these. I'm kind of giving you a basic pattern so that you can create whatever kind of booty you want. So please make sure that you tag me on social media so that I can see your creations. So to begin this tutorial, you want to create your slip knot and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Insert your hook and we're going to start a foundation chain of 10. So that is yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So pause the video and work your chain to 10. So I've just chained my 10 here and we're going to work back along this chain now and we're going to do a double crochet stitch which is known as a single crochet in the US. So double crochet is the UK term, single crochet is the US term. So we're going to skip this first chain here and do a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So you're going to insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, you'll have two loops on the hook and then grab the yarn, pull through both two loops. And then you're going to do a double crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So what you will notice when you've done those seven stitches, you'll have one chain left. And we're actually going to do five double crochets into that very last chain. So we'll go one, two, and we're gonna to start to curve round. So press, um, press this loose end down, three, four, and five. So now that you've done those five stitches, we're then going to work our way back along this row. So we've just done all of our stitches in that um, chain just there. And if you have a look at your work, you can see that you've got chains here that look slightly different to what you would not normally work into, but we're working our way back along the chain so that we can work in a circle. 
So we're going to do eight double crochets. Now what I like to do here is actually rest this loose end along the work and crochet it in as I go along. But if you want to leave it out and sew it in at the end, that's absolutely fine. So we'll go one, two, adjust your work, three, four, five, six. I'm going to just rest this to the back now because that's crocheted in enough for me. Seven. And make sure you get your eighth stitch which is right on the very end just here. And then we're going to connect this last stitch to the first stitch. So if you just turn your work you have a little V here. You're going to insert your hook under that V and slip stitch so just pull straight through. So that is your round one and we're going to chain two for our round two. So for this particular pattern your chains for each round are not going to class as a stitch so just bear that in mind as we're working through or if you're following along with um, the pattern. So what we're going to do here in this very first stitch, so at the base of this chain three, is do a half treble crochet, which is a half double crochet in the US. So for that stitch, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, grab the yarn, pull it through. You'll have three loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. So that is our first half treble. We're then going to do two half trebles into the next stitch. So two half trebles into the same stitch, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and the same again. So two stitches into one space that is increasing that round and it's also helping us to get round the corner. We're then going to do a half treble into the next six stitches. Now that we're getting to the end, this is where the this is the toe end of the booty. We're also going to increase again, so we're going to do two half trebles into the next stitch, one and two, and two half trebles into the stitch after, one and two. Then going to do two half trebles or one half treble into the next two stitches, one and two. And we're then going to repeat what we've just done. So two half trebles into the next stitch, one and two, two half trebles into the next stitch, one and two. That will be followed by six half trebles. So one half treble into the next sti six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to do two half trebles into this next one. One and two. And then one half treble into this last stitch. and then we're going to connect. So when you're connecting, make sure that you're not going into the chain, otherwise you will um, make your work bigger each round. So we just want to look for that very first V and then slip stitch together. So that is our round two. So now what we're going to do is chain one and we are going to work one double crochet into the first 10 stitches. So double crochet is single crochet in the US. So again, we go into the base 
of uh, that chain. We're not counting that chain as a stitch. We'll go one, two, And we're going to we're getting towards where the toe bit is now, so we are going to want to make it slightly wider. So we're going to increase here, so two double crochets in one stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, and then we're going to go back to the half treble crochet stitch, and we're going to do this for the next five stitches. So we're going to do two half treble crochets into the next five stitches. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three. So that's one stitch in there and the other. So that's one set. Two sets. Three sets. four sets and five sets and we're pretty much going to do a mirror image on this side so two double crochets into the next stitch two double crochets into the next stitch and then you're going to do ten double crochets into the last stitches or one double crochet into the next 10. So pause the video, work your one double crochet into the next 10 stitches. I'll meet you back for joining and moving on to the next row. So I've just done those 10 stitches and I am going to slip stitch into that very first stitch to join the last stitch to the first and I'm going to go ahead and chain one. So we've just done the base here of the of the booty. So at this point you might want to measure how big the base is. Um, if you've already made one already it's important to measure the difference between this one and your last one. What people generally find is the second time they're doing something they're a bit more relaxed with it so it can turn out a bit bigger. So make sure that your tension is the same on this one or measure at this point to see if you're getting the right size for the age of um, booty you're making for the baby. So on this round it's a pretty easy round. We are going to do double crochets all the way round because we're going to start to work up the side of the booty. However, we want to make this a nice curve. So instead of going into both of the loops like you would normally do for a um, stitch, so catching both loops of the V, we're actually going to work into the back loop. So insert your hook just into the back loop here grab the yarn, pull it through, and then grab the yarn, pull it through, and you're just going to work your way around like this for the whole of the round. So we're not counting that chain one. I've just done three stitches, and in this round you will have 39 stitches in total, so please make sure that you are counting. Go ahead, pause the video, work your double crochets into each stitch, count all the way along and I'll meet you back for joining. So I've worked my way all the way round. Um, you'll notice at this point that the work starts to go from being flat to a bit more bowl shaped. Um, it's important to note at this point that this is the actual base of the booty. So as you're working round, we are working from the outside. So you'll see the ridge here, rather than working from it the other way where you can't see the ridge. So we're not working this way, if that makes sense. So at this point, I'm about to join my last stitch to my first stitch. And I'm gonna do this with a slip stitch and actually catch both of those loops just here. But because I want to change color, I'm going to change color at this point. If not, you will just do your slip stitch as normal and skip the part where we change colors. So I'm just going to drop my work 
and grab the new colour and I'm going to make a loop with this so leaving a nice long tail so that I can sew that in and rather than um, grabbing the blue yarn and pulling that through for the slip stitch I am simply going to grab the new colour and pull that through for the slip stitch instead and just pop the tail out the way and chain one just to secure. I'm going to drop this down again, I'm going to take the blue yarn that's attached to the ball, grab my scissors and snip off and this bit is optional but I like to do it so that I know it's not going to come undone as I'm crocheting but I just like to pop a little knot in the work just there just so I know it's not going anywhere but some people really don't like to do that so that's totally up to you. So at this point we're going to do exactly the same um, in this round as what we did in the last round. So we're going to do a double crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way round. So one stitch into every stitch from the previous round just into the back loop. You're going to have 39 in this round because it's exactly the same. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way to the end and I'll meet you back in just a moment. So I've just come to the end of the fifth round and I'm going to join my first stitch to the last with a slip stitch and I'm going to go under both loops for that. So slip stitch. Round six and seven are exactly the same and they are pretty much the same as the last two as well. Uh, we're going to chain one and we're going to do a double crochet into every stitch but this time we are going to catch both loops. So going under both loops of the V because we're starting to work up the side of the booty now. So go ahead, pause the video, work your 39 stitches for your round six. I'll come back and you can use that as a marker for each round that you do or you can go ahead and do round six and seven with your 39 stitches of double crochet. So I'll meet you back in just a moment. So I've just come to the end of my sixth round. I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch, chain one and go ahead and do my 39 double crochets for my round seven. So pause the video and meet me back in just a moment. So I'm now at the end of my round seven. I'm going to join with a slip stitch. And this is what your work should be looking like now. It's kind of like a teeny tiny bowl. And what we're gonna do at this point is start decreasing the rounds just to bring it in um, at the foot end of the booty. So we're going to chain one and we're going to do 12 double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And then we're going to uh, decrease from this point around the toe area. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to double crochet two together. So the way that we do this is insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Rather than finishing this off, we're going to insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through. You'll have three loops on the hook. And then you grab the yarn, pull through all three loops on the hook. And then after this, we're going to do one double crochet into the next two stitches. And we're going to repeat that pattern three more times. So we're gonna do it four times in total. So we're gonna double crochet two together and do double crochet, double crochet. That's our second repeat. And then double crochet two together and double crochet, double crochet, 
that's our third and then one more time double crochet two together and double crochet double crochet and then what we're going to do is do a double crochet into the last stitches so you should have 11 stitches all together so go ahead pause the video do those 11 double crochets and meet me back in just a moment so I've just done my 11 double crochets it brings us up to this seam here so make sure that you do count and don't go into this last um, this last space just here just because this is going to pull the seam together um, and just keep it nice and tight obviously if you want to do that and you want to adapt the pattern then please feel free to go ahead but um, if you try and stick to the amount of stitches I'm doing each round then we can pull this seam a little bit straighter at the back so we're going to insert a hook to do a slip stitch and that completes our round eight and we're going to chain one to start round nine. So round nine we're going to start off with 14 double crochets. Um, so one double crochet into the first 14 stitches. So go ahead count your 14 and meet me back when you've done those. So I've just done my 14 stitches, at this point we're going to do a, a pattern repeat again. So we're going to double crochet two together and then do one double crochet. We're going to do that three times, so that's our first repeat. So double crochet two together and double crochet. That's our second double crochet two together. and double crochet and then you're going to double crochet into the next 13 stitches. So go ahead pause the video work those 13 stitches and meet me back for joining. So at this point I've done my 12 stitches my 13th one is going to be in that seam um, like I say it can be a little bit inconsistent but this kind of keeps the seam all um, up the back a bit straighter so I'm going to slip stitch into this the first into the last and then I'm going to chain one for the tenth row so we're going to start off by doing ten double crochets into those first stitches so go ahead pause the video work those ten meet me back in a moment after you've done your 10 double crochets, we're going to double crochet two together six times. So essentially going to make 12 double crochets into just six stitches. So insert. That's our first double crochet two together. So one. Two. Three. Watch your tension at this point, try not to be too loose with it. Four. Five. And six. And then we're going to do one double crochet into the next ten stitches. So meet me when you've done those and we'll join and finish off this booty for our last round. So I've done my 10 stitches, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch and chain one and the last round is really really easy, we're simply going to slip stitch into every stitch all the way round and you should have 26 stitches in total so go ahead and just do those slip stitches into every double crochet from the last round. What you might need to do is just loosen off your stitches around the front here so that it's not pulling too tightly. But go ahead, do those slip stitches and meet me back in just a moment. So I've done my slip stitches all the way around and I'm going to connect my first slip stitch to the last. Now this might be a little bit difficult, you might require to sort of wiggle your um, hook in a little bit but we're going to grab the yarn, pull it through and then grab the yarn and pull through again. Drop your yarn, leave a nice long tail and snip off your yarn. 
and then you're going to pull that out and pull that nice and tight. So all you want to do at the moment is go ahead and grab your darning needle and weave in your ends. What you might want to do for the ones inside is just flip it inside out in order to sew those in. So go ahead and do that and I'll come back um, in just a moment and show you how I added the embellishment to the front of this booty. Okay, so to add the embellishment like I have on the other booty, I've simply taken a good length of the blue yarn and threaded it up on my needle and tied a knot in the opposite end. You then want to have a look at your booty, find the middle, um, and I'm gonna make all these almost look like laces. So if I find the middle and then work my way out slightly, Um, go in from the back and pull through to the front so don't pull too tight at this point because we don't want that not to come all the way through but you're essentially just going to find the middle and then make an even length across the front of the booty so go back and then place the needle back through the original point so you can see there when you pull it through it just makes the line and then I'm just going to do exactly the same thing so I'm actually going to do that three times so that's two and actually I got a bit carried away here on that third one don't pull it back through you want to go back to the place where you want the next um, lace to be so again try and make sure that it is in line so I'm just going to pull that back through there and then just line it up pull through And again, pull through. And this is my third time. So this time instead, like I was meant to last time, I'm going to go up to the next point where I want it to be and pull through. So I'm just gonna do that one more time, insert it back through. And then all I'm going to do is turn it inside out and thread up and tie off my yarn that way. And there you have your little laces. So there you have your simple booty tutorial. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.